Dear Mommy. Dear Alex. Dear God. Dear Lani. Anyone. Yeah. Dear Mommy. Dear God. Dear Alex. Dear Lani. Dear God. Dear Mommy. Anyone. Dear Lani. Dear Mommy. Dear Honey, dear Mommy, dear Mommy, dear Mommy, dear Mommy, how are you? How's life? How's things? How's everything? I find no bad, can I complain? Somebody else's mom would say that, <coughs> not you. You and I complaining about all our mess. Having to cook, the close stairs, everything. I miss that. Me? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Eddie's fine. We're all fine. But I tell you what, I'm roasting. See, I thought I was going out to France or somewhere like that. <coughs> somewhere pure Greek, you know? Wet and cold. Like, hey, I was prepared for that. <laughs> but no. Turkey. I'm in Turkey, man. The sweat is lashing at me. Never felt anything like it. It's hotter than salt coats. <laughs> then see at night, Ugh, Baltic. Just kind of get used to it. I think it's called Turkey because it's hot and Turkeys go in the oven. Because, <laughs> well, I feel like a turkey in an oven getting roasted to death. Mind you, turkeys don't actually get roasted to death daily. They're already dead when you roast them. I think. <laughs> Sorry, Ma. It's this heat. It does stuff to your heat. Talking absolute mince here. Oh, mince. <laughs> oh, I can murder some stogies, Ma. Awesome turkey. Oh, I All we get here are hard tacks. Absolutely rotten. And rock solid. I'll lose all my teeth soon. I have a soup. But my granddad, soup and barley are plain Greek. All before my time. <coughs> Only kidding you on, by the way. I still got all my teeth. But my wee pal Gordy, he's not lucky. Gumsy Gordy, they're calling him. It's his gums. They're all rotten, infected. His breath is disgusting. He's got teeth like a box of broken biscuits. Ooh. He was saying it's called trench moon, but I was saying he's just bogging. He was, he was telling me the other day, when he go to the wine to Turkish lasses in his days are, spread the sickness, and all the Turk lads will surrender. Because every lassie that come to will be right gone with bad breath and no teeth. He's not. he's not. That's his big plan. <laughs> Win the war by winching! <laughs> he's a daft day, but... It's a laugh. You need to laugh. It keeps you sane. Dear Alec, son, you want to see the state of this house, son? You wouldn't believe it. Pots, pans, clays. I thought you boys gone. I'd be in Tapia with the But I've not even got the energy to think about the whiskey. I'm 45. I feel like a man. Oh, thank God for you too. He's been a great help so he is. He's asking for this. He says he's not. I can come go with that. He'd have killed me if it always went on. <laughs> but I know he means it. That's him 12 now. So, I can't believe it. All the women up the coast have been great too. Everybody's been held in the evening. He can say that was there. And that was her. <coughs> she hated me first now. I thought we'd hate each other less now. No point hating the neighbours when there's a war going. It's hard enough. Save your hate for those that matter. The Germans, the Turks, all them badges are not. I'm sorry. I thought it'd be quiet when you boys gone. And it is. It's quiet. All of the marshes out front of me. And I can't concentrate. <coughs> Nothing's changed. Go to church, get the messages. Oh, it's a sneeze. Sorry. 
Don't need to worry about me, mammy. I'm fine. It's rough out here, but honestly, I'm fine. I miss you. I love you. Miss you too. Love you too. Accept 
that in order to make the world less horrible, I should be encouraged, no, forced to kill my fellow man. That's ridiculous. It's not going to make anyone happy, is it? The world's already dreadful enough. These German lads are just doing as they're told, same as our boys, and it's, it's fine, good. I support it. Ours, I support our boys, our brave lads, our chaps, not the bad ones. Not that they're bad, they're just foreign and therefore not on our side, the right side. I want us to win. Of course I want us to win. I'm just not going to be part of it. <coughs> Sorry. A world of war, not a world that I want to live in, obviously. But the world will always be at war until we, collectively, as a society, <coughs> until we all agree that the world the world of war, and we all agree, <laughs> until we all agree that war does not make change, destruction is the antithesis of creation, and creation is progress. We need to come together and, <laughs> and settle our differences like rational and peaceful adults. All war is a failure of diplomacy. How should we set our passions with weapons? Words are infinitely more effective. Could you stop that for me? It's very distracting. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> if I were in charge, which I'm not, I'd be a dreadful politician. Politicians have to be morally absolute, sure of their convictions. Me? I'm not sure anything. But again, as Russell says, <laughs> stop it! He says, the trouble with the world is that fools are always certain and the wise are so full of doubts. Not that I'm saying I'm particularly wise. Far from it. But, can you please stop that? It's very rude. If we Collectively, as a society. No, honestly, this is completely unfold for. I have a right to my opinion, and my opinion is that war is wasteful, barbaric, and we should at least have the right to question, to think for ourselves, to hold convictions without fear of reprisal. Shame! Dear Annie, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm glad I got to see you. Visit is not very long. You? You've got so thick. My big, brave wee lass. I. Um, <coughs> I'm sorry. Your mum is telling me all about you. You and your wee pals. How you're getting on at school. Your teacher says you're a wee star. I hope you like the dog. That's a special wee dog. Just for you. You're my wee special dog. I know you like dogs. Look after him. 
we he needs looked after and so sorry I'm so proud of you Mommy, hope you're well. Eat up to you. Don't think of nonsense by the time I get back. Probably buried with wings. I feel like we've been in here for a lifetime. A few lifetimes. I'm good, you know, roasting, freezing, lousy, the usual. I don't know if my last letter got to you because I didn't hear anything back. It's the post, it's not reliable, you know. I think it's the uh, caramels. I think they're on strike or something. Must have got a hump. We've got a fight coming up, mommy. Big fight. I'm scared, mommy. Russell asserts, oh. he says that patriotism is the willingness to kill or to be killed for trivial reasons. The wise and wet smart and blue. Men with notions. Wings with guns. Land. Dirt. Power. The loss. The cost. The price. 
too much. Good to hear. Why I wouldn't. It's why I wouldn't. It's why I did. You see, some sites. I've never been delicate, but I can handle the blood. Come to the territory. It's expected. Dab hand to bandaging. Efficient, swift. I'm often complimented on my bedside manner. The boys say, see you, you're my favourite you are. But I think that's just because they're after a flinch, which is flattering, I suppose. But I just tell them, politely but firmly, that I have a fiancé at home, and once this war's out of the way, we'll be married with lots of children. So, thanks, but no thanks. I don't have a boyfriend, but they don't need to know that. I can handle the blood. That's predictable. I can cope. But seeing what happens to these poor men, boys a lot of them, their eyes huge, their pupils dark, narrow, unfocused. They breathe like animals. Dogs chained to posts, whining, fearful. They bite their tongues. They rattle in their beds. They cry. Their heads too full of nightmares to rest going to sleep. It's, it's horrific. I've never seen a scared man before until I came here. That's all I've seen. I'm scared. <coughs> Help me. Make it stop. It's happening again. It's inside my head. No. Help. And the children, and everyone. See, I'm a coward, scared, feckless, weak. I meant them, but I'm none of those. That was bad enough, that. But now, people, they just blank you in the street. I'm a ghost before my time. Small town, what travels quickly. Wee boy, spat at me the other day. 
nice to be noticed. Do you know how hard it is to not go, to have the courage, yes, courage of your convictions? It's hellish. It's shameful. It. It's crippling. They're made to feel guilty for being alive. A pariah. That's not right. Not fair. I mean, none of this is fair. Bertrand says, Nothing. Really? Interesting. He says, Men are made stupid by education, which I take to mean that we've got to learn to hate. All of us goes for the Germans, the Turks, us. We've been told our story, all of us, and we believe what we're told. Call me a coward. Yeah, go on. Everybody here thinks it. Call me a coward. Why did you do that? Exactly. You did it because I told you to. You did it because you were told. Alan, I never told you what going on in the tomb. The one that gave you a wrong credit. Mommy. She says, you must look smart in your uniform, young man. I need to be quick. I says, he was 13 yesterday. I've been unlucky. She says, look silly. I think this is it. I says, my two elders are good. Killed. Sail to the more than the ship that the rain fed her tied, darling. She says, I says, is that it? <laughs> then I says things that maybe I shouldn't have said. Could you blame me? I could have killed her. I says, the only white fairies I care about are the ones that my head slid the bars. Yes, please. But then she told me that she lost her husband, Anderson. Tears in her eyes. That she was sorry. She was so, so sorry. I just hugged her. <coughs> Tell her so. Like, what else could I do? I'm not sure. You are, baby. You should be here eating my strawberries, make my cow for the house. It's just me and me, Peter's missing in the soup. I'm missing the people of the I think. <coughs> Peter's turned into a very good party. He's going to be a right wee He says he's done it. He's got your pattern. Your cheeky wee. Yes. You missed the play. The pain. The water. It misses you right back, darling. My words. I'm so, so proud of you. I gave him this dog. It was the only time I remember seeing him. I was only a wee lassie at the time. Four, five. He was in the hospital. He'd been gassed and eat. I remember him shaking. He couldn't stop. He could barely breathe. But he gave me this dog and he managed to smile. We still have his medals in a wee battered brown box. They're an amazing thing to have, to pass on a wee bit of history that you think you can address with your But for me, this doll's how I remember him. It's named after him, Patrick. Because he got those medals for being brave, but I got this doll because he loved me. And that's why he went. Not for king, not for country, not for any of that but because he loved his wee girl and he wants the world safe enough to go off in. 
That was the last I saw him in that work. He was in a bad way. I was too young to understand. The tremors, the rasping breath. It's terrifying what happened to him. But he was my dad. My dear, brave dad. Damaged, broken. But he made it back against every odd, and he managed to smile <coughs> for me. Come sing of a river, I'm happy we sing. The song that I sing is the song of the pipe. Of all Scottish rivers, it's dearest to me. It flows from the hills all the way to the sea. It borders the orchards of Lanark so fair, meanders through meadows with sheep grazing there. But the lads go to the cleaner, the sounds on each side, the hammers ping dong, that's the song of the fight. Oh, the river climb, the wonderful climb, the game of it fills me and fills me with pride and love. Alice Murdoch. 